Leo, welcome to my channel. I am Raven from Arendelle, South of Norway. So I already have done the intro, but there are these tower like shaped like obelisks, including what the camera is standing on, that keeps falling. They they don't have the support they need and, and that is something I think you should think about. Do you have the support you need, Leo? Do you have the support you need? So we are seeing couples here. We've been talking a lot about twin flames. We are seeing couples here. But the fundament they are standing on, just a little shake and their moon is falling. And that is something I would think a little bit about because there's no such thing as coincidences not on this channel anyway yeah so in order to create a balanced relationship you need to have a strong fundamental ground are you capable of forgiving or if you are too much is this friends family or love relations if you're too much forgiving, too much patience, you're not setting your boundaries at within the beginning, then your boundaries will always be stretched or pulled a little bit. Okay? So we had here a couple of hitchhikers. This is Aries energy. So someone with the hitchhiker card, I mean that they would pop up in a completely different card stack, which tend to happen when you have 200 stacks of tarot. And I only have with me maybe 50, I don't know. Still it happens. Then there is a meaning to it. And now it is you, Leo, the one of the most hot, hot, hotter than the yellow sun kind of people. Along with Scorpius, of course. Hmm. Yeah, Leo, you're hot and you know it. You're hot. Two ones, I have the whole wild world in my hands. What, where shall I go now? Shall I go to my two of cups? This is love. Two people drinking, celebrating. And since they would fall out from the crystal tarot, tarot, crystal tarot, they all have a stone attached to them in the bottom. That so, I haven't got clue about all of them, but I am a mineral collector too. So here, uh, this is simply uh, an orange red stone that will connect to the root chakra and perhaps you can organize and take more control over your root chakra. Uh, your sexuality, how you organize things. This is the physical world, Malkuth, these things. Uh, and so you have two twice. Two. So what I get here is that, shall I go? Sorry, I'm scrying a little bit. Shall I go? Yeah, of course, now I'm getting that song. Should I stay or should I go? <clears throat> of course, it's, it had to happen. Towards the one I want to exchange my cup with. We have two cups there, two cups of love. It's not a lot, but it's a wonderful beginning. Or should I go to the right? Towards okay whatever part that is it's in reverse towards something that is unjust but it's justified probably if you go to that direction there is something here that is justified so you don't know i cannot sit here and say that literally that to the right is the direction yeah 
thing is here, Leo, is that someone could be you. Someone has this energy. They are very intelligent. This is Gemini energy. They want to come forward and talk. And they won't show a lot of emotion. This, this alone, they might talk or, or go into to some kind of direction where we're talking about two of cups. That, you know, I want to give you and me a chance. Probably you have known them before as they are not coming up as ace of cups, but that's also just a new beginning. But they could be. So cups talk about love. It could equally, cups is all kinds of love. It's romantic love. It is the love we have for our children. It's motherhood. It's very uh, feminine, mermaid-like energy. Uh, the wombs are very masculine. Here we have two phallic symbols. So someone here have this passion. Here also we have the Boas and Joaquin. Two again, two, two, two equals six. We have the lovers but i see that some of you might take a step backwards and say you know uh although maybe this is you know mother love or whatever love but i see that someone are taking a step backwards because they are afraid of this love uh because something was perhaps seen by them as something in just happening. Oh my God, I love being back home in my own, own apartment with my, yeah. <clears throat> Kathmandu is awesome. Yes, if you want to go shopping, sorry, I just have to say it. Seven, seven, okay, seven, seven. So this individual, also fast towards you uh, and i also got actually el carro in while i was doing this would pop up el carro the wagon they want to have a talk it's almost like a little bit confrontational yeah and this is someone they don't display a lot of emotions Yeah, it's fun. I love to be home again. I love to travel and I love to be home. Okay, so this man, the air energy, they don't display emotions. They, they have this rock face and so does Scorpio. Uh, it is an ego thing. I don't want to be the first one who approach you I think you should approach me perhaps kind of energy this is something I spoke to with uh, a Capricorn friend of mine from Kerala an author he just said that you know I'm not sure if this goes for all Capricorns he says you know he, he, he prefers that the chicks approach him because he's too lazy about it well I know you're a little bit risk unless you see this I don't think he does but I saw someone very nervous beautiful attractive Capricorn we've known each other for some time now since the pandemic very talented very beautiful but he would say something like no I, I, I don't want to do the hard work and everything that comes with it when it comes to approach the opposite sex. It can also be an ego thing that I'm not talking to you because you are not talking to me and so on and so on. Usually the divine feminine, she will have this insight in magic, you know, magic, like um, All Star would say. Um, new world all-star i would say it magic is just science that we have not discovered yet okay so everything is magic and so if two people either this is a friendship family member if two people are too stubborn it, it, it's like a competition between children right 
there, there, there is someone I know. Uh, she would literally go as far and say, you know, I am going to arrest the universe and put the universe, whoever is God here, I'm going to corner them and say, why is it so that every time I am in a relationship or just go on a date, that they out of the blue become emotionally available or they have so many girlfriends. This is, this is a story among several girls chicks that I know about. They all of a sudden start demand things from you and, you know, create things that you would need to compromise, perhaps even push your boundaries. They would go as far and say that uh, Yeah, I'm not going to dig too deep into it, but most people are living still through the ego mind. We have an ego mind, identify themselves with the ego mind and thinking that the problems that exist, exist in this world, the, the problems happening to you, people abandoning you, people not liking you. We are taking it very personal. We go into hermit mode or isolate ourselves into the, the, the depression mode and we kind of feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, know this, that when you lose everyone and everything around you, house, children, family, I'm not talking about dying and these things, know that you are then within a test and or a spiritual initiation. So the third initiation is for people who must start to prepare themselves to be detached although myself I have a lot of things but I lose things all the time yesterday I would lose my power bank at the the, the airport and I accepted it I said okay when you lose something you're creating a, a void uh, and uh, is in art we call it horror vacui and the first thing the universe will do is try to fill up that void again so don't take give and so this this individual who were meeting all these men or you know she would go on dates and dates and dates and they would always as soon as she gave herself to them with her heart and so uh, she would tell me that she once said to this uh, guy that I love you the answer was thank you Someone will pretend that they are too busy to talk to you and this is also an ego thing to make you try to chase them. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm so happy because there is a large ascend ascending process happening now and uh, when Leo, when you get when you get your ascension, when you go out of the Leo ego mind, let's face it, Leo, when your ego is big, it's quite large, look at the sun, it's the biggest object, it's your soul. Some would say Rahu is your soul, someone said the moon is your soul, this and that, but it's a quite large portion of who you are. You are the center of attention within the entire zodiac. And it's considered to be masculine. However, in my own old pagan culture, this, the soul is divine because it's shaped like a womb and it creates life while the semen is the silver and you know so very allegorical we could we might as well think of the sun as a female so but in reality we are born uh, andronages so there was this girl, she tried to confront someone because she knew something was off. Something is not right with this connection that you and me had. So she would go towards this individual 
and confront him about what's your gain? Because, you know, I know something is very unfair and I don't like it. Can you tell me what it is? And then if your answer comes like this, no, there is nothing. Maybe, no, I just don't f feel like this is this right now. But you know, if you are intuitive, that something is very off. He would be like one moment, he would be so warm towards her. Next moment, he will be completely cold and he would be like, don't touch me. I have these things where I don't like to be touched. And we all have, we all have this baggage, no matter how spiritual you are, how much enlightened you are, we all have a baggage from the past where we carry things that happened to us long, long time ago. People say, lately today, Teal Swan would say, I'm a lone person. I, I'm not afraid of being abandoned or that people don't like me. It was something about this. She said, you know, in past tense, they would burn you for being different. And we are pack animals. But at some point when the path needs to be walking alone, that is the third initiation and that is self-love. And please do not mistake this for narcissism. Narcissism and self-love are two completely different things. If a narcissism, if a narcissist, which is the most passionate word now these days, if someone who are so obsessed with themselves, how they look and is me, 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 that is just being someone who are selfish. So, so I'm bored of the word. I'm bored of the word. Let's go back in time and call a spade as a spade. Selfish person, person who seek to only um, what can I get out from this relationship? What's in it for me? So this one someone confronted someone once upon a time and i don't know if this is something that's going to happen to you right now not showing any emo emotion or any kind of love if you're holding back i mean if you have this kind of love for someone but you are keeping it to yourself out of pride or because you talk to someone because remember you have friends which are people people have opinions that gives you a headache because they all know most people I meet or you know 90% of them they do not have this humbleness of saying you know I don't know what is the best advice that I can give to you. But what is very regular in my, when I grew up is that a person is either good or bad. Now, if you are blocking your heart or someone are blocking their heart towards you because of either one, they are too proud to take, take the first mood, that is the ego. Three, you left the ball perhaps in their court, but it's being returned as something way smaller, breadcrumbs, just to keep you there. And the question is, are you going to wait or move on with your life? Yeah. So we see there, we see that in this read that, um, this guy, by the way, who is Gemini energy, uh, verbally will say a lot of things. It's incredible. I would meet things. I would meet people who have the most beautiful vocabulary. But when it comes to or approaching the opposite sex, 
They are like a newborn calf, not capable of standing on their legs, saying the most outrageous things. And then it's up to you whether or whether or not you should take it. Oh, who is this guy? The Four Amendments. Don't take things personal. Personally, do your very best yeah and when it comes to other people don't judge a book by its cover you don't know you don't really have the right to put people in a label and i always forget the third one we, 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 we will remember that one Someone here. This is energy here of the Sacerdotisa, the Empress. I'm sorry, five languages are popping in my head and I have to. <laughs> the Empress in reverse. The Empress is not supposed to talk because it is through satsang or silence that we are keeping up the vibration of content that can be used. The, the hierophant, however, is the one who is speaking to the audience and through speaking, we are actually spell casting. Now she chose to come out as reverse. What does that mean? Well, she's originally a malevolent persona she is a malevolent malevolent archetype she's feminine and through her silence she's accumulating energy she's a portal she's a she's a guiding the portals to the next level yeah well the hierophant Taurus energy would put small seeds in people about spirituality. That is a sad guru. Yeah? There are many sad guru things that sad guru say that I sometimes want to give him a small bunk in the head. But you know, because everything sad guru says, that's kind of the truth because he has so many people who follow him. Well, People who follow people without questioning anything they say, that's called what? Cattle. He is not God alone. We're all God. Okay? So when she's showing up in reverse like that, she has lost her power by simply doing babbling like me i love the bubble yes i am a parrot too uh, so you know ravens they have a wider range of vocabulary than the parrot than the parrot <laughs> and ravens love to talk so they are messengers they are messengers don't kill the messenger uh, so usually life is like this And when we are in a low, low vibrational zone, poof, I just, bleh, it's called word vomiting, according to, to a beautiful girl I met, Jenny B. Someone's got word vomiting. I haven't been talking for a long time to anyone. I just have to uh, get it out of the system. And when you do this, you will, you know, the ego in this will be attached to whatever you talked about. And, Usually, oh, also, I would recommend you to kind of keep a distance to people who have a very, very low vibration. Because it's like, think of yourself in the ocean, you're a very good swimmer. 
and you have exactly that ball also to, to hold on to. And then you have five people around you who, two of them, they don't know how to swim and two of them barely know how to swim and the third one has got water phobia. Okay. And they all panic. And you are perhaps the only one who are very calm, just enjoying your moment. Okay, there is a tower moment here. It's a little bit like Titanic. I am in my boat, but I can swim. Cold water, fuck. Hmm. Healing. Healing. So, I see Leo, you're growing. Uh, there is something about her, you know, she can symbolize a wish fulfillment. Okay, this is Aquarian energy. And some of you have certain kinds of things, is what I get, that can be healing to other people. There is something here regarding a fish. Don't ask me why I'm scrying and when I see a fish in my crystal ball, I see a fish. So either you are, it's not a dolphin, dolphins are mammals, yeah, there's something about that fish, fish is very often also symbolized, uh, Jesus is also symbolized by a fish, there's also an eye here, there's an eye, like something is watching you, okay? Uh, I also see wings for some reason. I see wings. And I would see Sadhguru say, repeat himself again, Western women, they have too much imagination. <laughs> well, maybe you're just a little bit jealous because you have none. You have to read it all. <laughs> Don't be joking. And I love, by the way, I love Sadhguru. I, I have full on respect for him. So when I say something about it, it's more directed towards don't, including myself, don't take, if you have people who are spiritually elevated on some level, do not put them on the pedestal. Okay? Because you have access to the same knowledge. Yeah? So let's see what's going on because already I've spent a lot of time. It's been a while, so I'm a little out of my routines. Uh, I just, after I started this channel, I feel this vibration from you guys, this wonderful energy. And uh, also your comments. Uh, yeah. Uh, Beautiful. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this is sad. Leo lost three cups. So here it is very physical. I'm crying because why are these? There's only three cups that fell. He had two more left, which is this log. But he lost three of cups. So why? Why is this individual grieving? Is this someone you are thinking about? Or are you in grief, Leo? Three, the holy triad is what I get. Maybe this is grief. Some people say that it's not that big of a deal. I think it's kind of a big of a deal when you are sitting like that crying because it's not about the cups. You lose something like a keychain with a really awesome figurine on it and you lose it, you know, uh, or I lose this pendulum, cheap pendulum. And that pendulum was given to me by the Tibetan blah, blah, blah an example and then I would start just crying it's not because I lost the pendulum it's not because 
either you don't cry enough or you have all these accumulated emotions. Okay, so there was something that ended here. So this could be someone you are thinking about, Leo. I'm not over. Someone are not over you. I have promised myself uh, one year back, more, one and a half year back almost, that I'm going to stay away as much as possible from social events or people or all that kind of things because it takes this much before, before you are pulled in a drama. So a spiritual person can experience this and this. But someone who are living in 3D mindset will experience it as a disaster. Like last night, I would lose my power bank and someone would destroy my earring. So I also lost my little tiny hexagram. What do you know? Second time I'm losing the hexagram, but I'm always questioning the universe. Why? What is the power bank to me? It's an accumulation of energy which I lost. Yes, you can read tarot by simply looking out in the window and see, oh, a feather falls in front of you. It has a meaning to it. The universe is trying to talk to you all the time. Okay. So I lost the power bank and I accepted it because I managed to get my swords legally with me. I said, okay, that's a fair trade. And you accept things like this, this kind of losses in your life. Okay, I respect that God or the universe takes back something. The second time I lost the hexagram, then it's a sign. Because the hexagram is a cube. We've talked about this before. Okay. May I? Oh my God, my reflexes. Don't brag with that kind of emotion. Amazing. <laughs> so the hexagram I would have one in my ear last night and I, he would ask me can you please help me open my phone with your earring I said yeah sure I was a little bit distressed and in return he and his girlfriend would break my earring and, and they apologized of course and I was a little ag agitated and I said yeah, yeah whatever you know uh, and later on the little star tetrahedron would fall away and I loved that star tetrahedron it was silver and it was like you know your ego is like hmm I love that but then I thought okay this is the second time I'm losing a star tetrahedron and what is it well it's a cube it's a cube it's Saturn. It's a very symbol for the samsara. If you're going to, you know, one of the greatest symbol of samsara I know about is that star tetrahedron. And the moment you stretch those lines around it, like top of the sun, a platen, Saturn, <laughs> platen. you have a hexagon and this is manifestation this is the shape of manifestation that's the cube that is the matrix so when you lose a matrix symbol once and then the second symbol loses what's happening then there is a rift now there is a rift now outside here in this space time continuum and Boom. And what do you know, the moment I realized it, I found my power bank in one of my secret, secret purses. So it's like, the better you handle a loss, the better you accept that the universe do what must be done. Something will come back to you and it's much more 
fucking far cool great yeah someone here is not over it's not finished I see there could be a drama going on there, there, there is a lot of passion here though but, but the, it's like the vibration I get is a little bit tense Usually we have this joke on Facebook where we say it's from the the original cards, the Rider weight cards. We say that this is five people trying to put up a teepee on on acid or a tent. It's, I just had to tell you because that joke was fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's how it looks like. Yes, I've been to the boom festival, seeing people, magic mushrooms trying to put up a tent. So why do I say these things? It's because some of you see this as a very severe drama. You don't like it. I hate it. I don't want this. And when you go out of the monkey mind, you go out of the, the circus, you know, go into the observer of you, the watcher, and you'll see this is a fucking joke. It's actually quite hilarious how people would make so much fucking drama out of one tiny small thing and, and amazed on how important it is for me to to get my opinions through through the media or through my family because I need to prove a point I spoke to someone who said why is it so important for you to prove yourself all the time and, and they were they're obsessed convinced that they need to prove themselves why the, one of the most beautiful levels or states of mind that i see are trees and flowers here it, here it's standing this tree with these wonderful leaves it's in full synchronicity Part of the earth. Sometimes I would believe the, tri the, the trees are a fragment of higher dimensional beings than we are. And we only see, you know, uh, with our consciousness, we only see a part of their toenail. So, and it's well, time is slow uh, in comparison. So, so we only see a little bit, but in reality, they are part of a very high spiritual dimension. It's just a philosophy. It's, it's you know, I'm not serving you the truth. So the tree stands always like this in balance. Okay. If it's too stubborn and the uh, wind will come too strong, it will break. Now, if it's a bamboo, the wind come. This is Kung Fu. This is Karate. Yeah. This is also stubbornness. So some of you might have had some kind of a misunderstanding here I get, but you're putting so much into it. This, the one, is in itself a lingam. It's a large, large ego. And in Korea they say that it's rather small. Mm. <clears throat> that did not sound good at all. Mm. Yeah, I just happened to, to uh, my past is uh, Korean martial art called Taekwondo, so slip of the tongue there. <clears throat> Something ended. Something ended, obviously. But some of you are still, still there. For you, it didn't end. Or if you are thinking about someone, of course, uh, cross watcher. So you could have been, you know, someone here or left hanging there. 
So this is part of the third initiation. This is actually uh, the, what is it called? The cocoon of the butterfly. So when he's hanging there long enough, he will gain his enlightenment. All the blood will flow to his head. But of course, someone here are resisting the lessons, the lesson that is right here in front of your face. There is a lesson here to be learned. And I need to. You might hear a crack, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I'm just sitting. I need to sit straight. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a lesson here. And uh, for some reason, this guy is kind of. He already found out how to remove this. He's a little bit. Uh, What's that dude called? He's fixing everything with the paper clips and, uh, and things in that ancient 80s movie. You know, like Houdini kind of guy. This is Paisian energy. And so here, one or several sacrifices had to be made in order for things to move into a flow state of consciousness. But the sacrifice from someone didn't happen. Or did it? So show me Red Spirit, what kind of sacrifice was it that you I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask because I'm a little curious. What sacrifice was asked from Leo? Hmm. Yeah. This is either you, Leo, or them. Someone was waiting, or some of you are waiting, just for a little cup, you know. I'm not talking about the holy fucking grail here, I'm talking about the tequila shop. A sign. Like, do you have any romantic emotions for me? But they failed to come. One of you did not did not give in to this, basically. So you, oh my God, we have a twin. Yeah, right now you need to know I'm a little bit obsessed with the construct of twin flames. Why? Because. I recently, no, not recently. I remember things from I was only one year back in time and I can prove it, yeah. And I was taught that I only have this life, but before I was taught that, I already knew that, oh, I remember roller skating. I even remember a specific place from childhood and I would get glimpses from India. So there is, However, in my theosophy, uh, I would have more than one incarnation on Earth now in this space-time continuum. But it turns out that it's kind of a little bit rough now in this transition. But never ever would it occur to me that this is an ancient Zen Buddhist Buddhistic science and that we are because uh, yeah <laughs> so here you have yin and yang so there is one here on one side who are standing here with a tequila shot you know just carefully i'm holding it and looking back at some of you vice versa right i miss those cards damn it but the other one
this is fated. Some of you belong to this person. I mean, uh, we are talking about belonging as not belonging, but as the same soul. Some of you actually just, you are the same soul. You're just into separate bodies. So when one was standing very carefully, the other one pulls back. That is how magnetism works, apparently. I don't know, I'm not an electro engineer, but... <clears throat> For those who are feminine here, this could have been foul. Some of you have lost your complete sense of self-confidence this is the divine feminine and it's like because she is in her 40s or yeah she's in her 40s maybe late 30s because she's still fertile she's pregnant I'm not saying you're pregnant but the symbolized she's an archetype she's pregnant she's wealthy she's independent she's all the four queens in one right and then a page comes along, someone with a, with a very immature child like mine, there could be a very large age gap. Yes, I, I hear a lot, I'm learning a lot about this phenomena because I know, I, re <laughs> I know that there is another me somewhere on this planet in this space-time continuing and we are sharing intel so what i do simply what i do is that i would collect the data just like the hypothetical deductive method that they use in order to create empirical data i create my own data but i would still i would you would still find a lot of soulmates out there who have a very similar vibrations to your real twin. This, however, might be a twin. And if you are exceptionally stubborn Leo, Leo stubborn, then you might expect that the other one could be a Scorpio, eight here is also equally stubborn as you and then there will be no 3d 3d unification because you're not here necessarily some of us have chosen to you know i i okay i accept i need to walk this path alone i need to be the high priestess because if someone have a very low vibration if your own self have a very low vibration because there's a currently to all star i'm going to refer a lot to this side because he is awesome uh, or this twin flame couple is awesome how they explain things in a very scientific matter and it makes sense exactly how i would perceive it myself so yeah there will be because now is the time where a huge transit is happening and uh, Pluto is now entering the age of Aquarius, Saturn already there when these two guys are joining forces, that's Capricorn and Scorpionic energy going into the age of Aquarius, shit will happen. Always Pluto now going into Capricorn. No, I will look it up. It doesn't matter, but things are, you know, the bankers are now having a large shit fest. So regarding your money, whatever it is, try to invest it in something valuable. Don't buy plastic crap. Just saying.
Didn't see that one coming. Possible outcome. Possible outcome. If this tells me that I see the magician here. I don't see it, see it, see it, see it. But I see some of you have the magician here in your energies. And if you want, you can manifest this. Sometimes it can take 10 days. In this case, it could take 10 months, it could take 10 years, but it will happen that you will have everything you want for yourself in this three dimensional space time continuum. I just love that word. We have stuff like warp engines, quantum singularities, all the science fiction kind of stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I got, I got carried away. Possible outcome, Leo. Ten of coins. I mean, can it be any better? I don't think so. Unless you have also ten of cups there. And the sun. So that means that if you hear this, one of you need to take the first step to make things more clear. Ace of Swords. Let's ask. We are already in 55 minutes too far, so we might as well just ask. So show me. What is it that... Um, what kind of sacrifice must Leo do uh, in order to achieve this turnover? This might as well also be work. You might have had, yeah, some work-related issues. The boss is really mean, maybe even touching you. Yeah, have we been there a few times, having a boss or an authority kind of in, uh, individual touching your boob? It's so normal, it's so normal that it's, it's shocking. Yeah, you need to go in yourself, meditate, read books, learn about who you are and forget everything you knew or thought that you knew in order to make that sacrifice, isolate yourself. This is the magician and the high priestess basically in one, and you need to find, oh, there's uh, some Capricorn energy here, 10,000 something about your career, popping up. I love the, doing this too much, so the read is getting like super long today. <laughs> What's that, yeah. So, Go into yourself, whatever sacrifice you are made. La fuerza, this is in your surroundings. Claim it, you're a Leo for God's sake. You're a Leo. The force is fucking with you. As long as you don't resist it. Don't resist it. Not your circus, not your monkey. But if you are like in a situation, you know, I had a boss once where I, no matter what I did, no matter how, you know, you could buy her flowers, you can, you know, kiss her ass, all the things I would do. She, she targeted me as something very malicious and horrible. And um, by the way, there is something about blue. So, you know, there's something about blue. I don't know why I was just had to tell you there's something about blue. Maybe it's, maybe they have blue eyes. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, I do get, now I do get why Indians are freaked out sometimes. <laughs> it looks a little creepy if you're not used to it. Anyway, there's something about the blue hair, the ocean waves the sky blue eyes behind blue eyes check my instagram okay well you know who's the boss yeah i told you this was my boss once but she she was an Aries. this is Aries. she was the boss 
fuck? I just talked about her. She was this card. And she was this major bitch. She couldn't handle even no matter how hard I worked. No matter how many clothes I folded or how, you know, I was basically a mixture between janitor. Uh, I was the, what you call, coordinator, the boss of how things would look inside and outside in one of the largest cloth company ever, no matter what I did. And someone would literally tell me, a girl, that Molly, you're too talented to do this because you need to work within a frame set which is my thing really. And at the same time, kissing someone's ass. Mm. But I did learn my lesson. And from this one, you will learn your lesson. This Leo, and uh, this is your energy right now. You're bossing up. That's so you're bossing up. So this grief, it could be someone else or in your, uh, you know, vibrations. But I, your homework now is for you to go into the hermit mode and meditate on the beauty that you have. Focus on everything, every trait you have inside and outside that is beautiful. And when it comes to the shadow work, that is something else, that is something that we can work with, you know, but now you're going to focus on only positive things about you. Yeah? Myself, I gained a big slot of weight being in Nepal, for God's sake. But what to do then? Well, I've been working at the gym, so I should know what to do then. Finished. It will be fine. Yeah? Or we can go depressed, sit in the shower and cry because our bum is a little bit curvy. Yeah? Besides, big curvy asses apparently is the thing now these days. So, well, you know. Yeah, you accepted there was a heartbreak here. There was a heartbreak here, but you experienced this again and again and again and again until you rise once and for all. This is Mars, this is Marduk, you know? Fucking hell, no page. A page. Is going to to uh, but it's still a challenge it's still a challenge it's still there my god I got some awesome new earrings today but <clears throat> I don't think it's silver anyway <clears throat> so yeah uh, whoever hears this there is a Leo here you feel maybe better, but this comes up as your suggestion, heal yourself. This will be a small challenge for you to get over this so you can, because there is, you know, we have a, we have a twin here or a strong soulmate. And I have a feeling that someone made you feel less than you are. Maybe you felt used, maybe you gave, 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 because let's face it, Scorpios are intense and Leo are intense, Aquarius are intense, Taurus are intense, we are fixed signs, Leo, you are intense because fucking hell, you are the biggest uh, heavenly object among those 12. So when you are in love, you're burning. And you're also a warrior. And either you're a man or a female, the divine feminine inside of you has been with someone who made you feel less valuable than you are. Who, who made you wait for that phone call or made, made you know, never, uh, they could never give you that hug or that, that, um, what's it called? confirmation that you are the one I want to commit to loyal you're the one I want to be loyal to because I see here someone hiding something from you
one is hiding something from from either you are hiding that I get the sense that one hides the fact that they know the other one is hiding something. You know what I mean? Sounds fucking weird, I know. Yeah. So you either you are dealing with someone who are sneaky as fuck and it create it, it, it created the darkness. This this is some someone uh, who are some kind of a soulmate. Okay? Not just a soulmate, but this is how strong connection is between the pure sun and Scorpio. You can't get a stronger connection than that. Scorpio are the most intense of all of them uh, when it comes to passions and emotion because they are mixed water and fire. Uh, they are going all the way down and they're going all the way up. Uh, maybe some of you have Scorpio in your chart. Check it out, astro.com. But the sun went down when you discovered that, that someone here was hiding something from you and uh, whoever they were hiding maybe it was someone they knew or someone they've been friends with their entire life they hide this from you maybe to gain something from you or this could be someone that you have, feel you know them for your entire life and when you realize, you put on your poker face. Poker face, that, does that, yeah, I know. Na, 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 na. I hear it too. I hear it too. Poker face. Poker face, my face. Okay. So let's, uh, let's have some fun with four possible outcomes. I should have had my new bling thingies uh, today. So let's, let's do it like this. We have four crystals here, so they might all resonate on none of them at all, but we have four crystals here. Okay, we have quartz, we have rosen quartz, we have this, uh, what's it called, ocean something, this turquoise ocean, yeah. We call it the, the mermaid crystal, okay, and we call it the yellow crystal. So let's uh, pull some cards, pull a card. Possible outcome and know that you can you can change that the outcome okay not you, you cannot don't change the individual don't change try to change anyone that's not your job your job is to change you into the better okay so first we're going to whatever you're choosing and not start time stamping it because it might be so that the entire story is connected somehow so back is black. Uh, show me. Show me. A possible outcome for those who are choosing quartz crystal. So we have King of Swords here. Some of you might take the position as the king of swords and uh, you ain't taking any BS from the seven of swords, you know. <clears throat> Ten of swords. Some of you must accept that something between you and a lover is finished. It's finished. Or this individual must accept it. Yeah, popping up as number three, Gemini energy. It's very strong Gemini energy co connected to this, okay? Yeah. Lots of reversals. I double check them with the dice because sometimes they are spinning. So. This is you, Leo. You, Leo, you are known to be the playboys or players of the zodiac sign when you are going low vibe. Yeah? 
you might be dealing with someone who also have another Leo, who have a strong Leo position. And, and trust me, we all have an ego. Oh my fucking God, don't you think I have a big ego? Yeah, and I'm pimping it as fuck. What am I, you know, it's like having a dog. You're having this, if you have a dog, of course you like to pimp our dog. Because we love that dog, but it needs discipline. Four of Wands. So there is a completion, a completion of a cycle here. Five of Wands, again, same hair, drama and conflict. Now that the lover's card might also just be simply Gemini energy if you are in a, in a work, work situation. Six of Swords, some of you, we are, we are, uh, I recommend you, we are Legion, that you might should travel to uh, calmer waters, get it out of the system. And the High Priest is coming up spinning. So there is this back and forward, back and forward regarding, he's holding his hand like this, showing that, you know, showing up to the heavens. Usually more logic would be sitting like this. Okay. Um, but there is a choice here. He's actually have quartz crystal by his feet. So quartz crystal uh, would be your gem right now maybe, but it is this going in and out between being in the 3D, being pulled into a drama and then out again. Four of Wands. That's a celebration. Which doesn't seem to take any place just right now. Um, so yeah, we will move on. You will also have an Oracle card, so we are going to pull that just for, you know, <laughs> an Oracle card for those who chose this crystal. Have courage, Leo. Have courage. The sun will shine. <laughs> now you get it? Now you get it. Some of you are resisting the change, basically. There's an extra energy here. And something, someone, I feel, is weakening you. And the cards are recommending you to go back into your position as the high priestess and meditant in the hermit mode and for now perhaps keep the cups to yourself uh, i feel that there is really really a player here but i also feel that when you are getting your shit together you go out play have fun and be the queen of wolves Excellent message for you. God, this video. I'm not even sure it will be uploaded. Ta 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 ta. Okay. So, for those of you who choose the pink one, the quartz crystal, this is the specific message for you. Oh my god, I love my channel. I love you people. Ten of cups, eight of yeah, you can also just say that the one that appeals to you most regarding this ending is the one I claim. Do you need to work? Like uh, Vasudev said, if you want her down, you know, her back up, you need to work. You can't just sit there with a guitar and expect it to play for itself. You need to actually have patience and learn how to play the guitar. And same goes for this manifestation that you're working on right now is that my God damn it, you, you need to understand that you have to do the work. Uh, so yeah, Western women having too much imagination. You cannot have too much imagination. It's not possible. You cannot have enough of it. This is why we are super creative. 
This is why we make the thanks to uh, people with too much imagination that we have artwork, wonderful cathedrals, fashion design, awesome, everything art, awesome, okay? Yes, I, I've been writing about that sentence in the year now. Actually, a friend of mine is now my, my driver. I have my own private chauffeur, what do you know? Hmm? So he is on his way now to Satguru's temple uh, in Tamil Nadu, just a few hours from here. I was invited along, but I was in Nepal, so. Okay, Leo message. Oh. So by taking this turn, you are removing yourself from someone who are quite obsessive towards you or you could have also been the obsessor possible maybe you have a strong Scorpio sign to you but this is basically the devil and showing up in reverse like this tells me that some of you have been in this illusion for a long time because someone had options been breadcrumbing you again this was a lover and they disturbed your inner power as the high priestess here with with maybe what I get perhaps pulling you down but my god there is so much passion here so there is this quarreling about something it could be even in your energies quarreling or they could be quarrel, quarrel, quarreling among their friends and no, be careful when you listen to people's advice. If someone says, like the Tibetan would tell me that don't smile to the monkeys. Don't do that. Obviously, that's a constructive critic. But when someone are bombarding you with opinions and you get 10 different opinions in all direction, why don't you just give a fuck about these people and listen to your gut? Because your gut knows what to do. Now four of ones speaks of an actual celebration here. But I feel that some of you have been taken advantage of by someone who are very young. Or very immature. They could have given the impression of that, you know, I'm going to commit to you. But it ended up in the Five of Cups. Which is, by the way, now something you're getting over. So maybe you have a Scorpio placement somewhere, but, but when Venus in place in Scorpio, for example, the love is extremely intense, okay? This one example. So, uh, uh, please give me um, Oracle card for those who chose the rose quartz. I like to have different possible outcomes so you can use your Houdini powers to change it if there is something that be without malice. So don't, what, what she is saying here, that do not walk into your Goa and tell this individual, you're like this, you said that, blah, 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 blah. Just, it's all good, okay, it's okay. If you're, if you're going to tell them you're fine enough, that completely depends on the individual. Because there are certain individuals who will take advantage of everything you absolutely say and then throw it in your face when, when you split. My God, have I lived long enough. <laughs> so for those of you who... Uh, ah, Aquamarine is uh, this gem. Aquamarine. The mermaid gem hmm 
you might actually have someone who wants to come in with a small offer of new love. There might be something, someone new for you. I hope so, Leo. I hope so, Leo. I hope you win. Could be a Scorpio. Oh, <laughs> talking about twins. Yin and Yang. My secret is what I get. My secret is, is that you're the love of my life and I am not playing any games. Just take a good look. Yin and Yang. Perfectly balanced between their emotions. If they have Sun conjunct Moon, their Moon might be a little bit weakened, but their emotions are powerful. Moon a little bit weakened uh, when Sun is too close, uh, below 72 degrees. Uh, could mean that they have difficulty to, to separate between their emotions, feelings, passions, uh, and the Moon might... Uh, some unlucky things will happen to them. So, so I am one of those who have Sun conjunct Moon Scorpio. My Moon is weak, so I attract uh, uh, where I live. There will always be a water leakage or something. Uh, I always have to fight this water leakage somehow. Uh, I would perhaps be overly sensitive because the Sun is taking all the attention. So the Moon doesn't get uh, you know, they say also fertility pro problems. I don't know about that. I've been uh, knocked up four times in my life. So, <laughs> but that's kind of a little bit much information to give, but whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm still in Sagittarius. <clears throat> so your Oracle card. Yeah, so when the moon is weakened, is that when it stands close to the sun. It's like the sun takes it all and the moon is just... But you still have the emotion. I was also born when the moon was black, dark moon, and it was eclipse. So now you know why someone are seeing dark moon eclipse in Norway. Yes, that is the brand, we are building something here. Your advice is to embrace the masculine, master number 11. So if you are involved with the divine masculine, embrace him, but just be aware that this is the longest read I've done forever, for ages. Just know that they are not supposed to overshine your moon. Six of coins uprights, okay? Sometimes it can mean charity, but yin and yang. Equal give, equal take. It's plain mathematics. I give you two apples, you give me two bananas. Or are you the one ending up the monkey who are pouring out the bananas and what you get in return is just a bunch of monkey poop? Oh yes, you, you. <laughs> we, everyone, more or less, we've all been rejected. We've all been rejected. Now it's time to just own up to it. Then. And so we push people away. So, so we push people away from us before, by the way, I have a strong Leo placement. So I say we sometimes strong Leo placement as in most of my house, in your house and so on. <clears throat> 
and also my moon is over over light it's burning by your sun so yeah i completely forgot what i was talking about yeah this this is not my most professional i mean the most effective quick boring i you know i'm just digging deep i'm sorry and i love it <laughs> Uh, Sassy Scorpio, uh, which I very much admire, she has the same thing, she's digging deep. So, for those of you who chose the citrine, so you know this plant, this citrine is self-cleansing. Along with the, the selenite, they are self-cleansing, so important stuff to know. Some of you know that you know, I'm not going to be someone's option. If you have so many options, choose some of the other ones, you know. I'm not an option. Either you commit to me or loyal to me, or if you want to run around and have 13 other men or women, and you know, which is possible if you're dealing with a page. They're young, they're not mature. And uh, then, then, of course, set the tiny little bird free because it's barely got its puberty, pubic, so whatever. Yeah, set them free. Okay. Any of you seen a lot of dragons flies? So the last card. might have been a little bit misread by me because someone are peacocking around some of you. Why? Because there are you. But they might do it very subtle or they might be dreaming about it told you I'm a Viking and we hunt treasures and we have treasures everywhere this is a Houdini isn't it embrace the two to become one so what it really tells you is that for some of you you're already one you're not separated that's an illusion I hope my little less kind of clumsy read but interesting read was some help for you. Know that you are Leo. I'm a little jealous because you're so fucking shiny, all of you. And I personally always fall in love with someone who either are Leo or have a Leo ascendant and uh, or Leo Moon and at some point, you know, my my last relationship would be he would have Leo, Venus and Mars, you know. There is something about you, Leo guys, you know, people, girls, you're funny, you're hot. Just remember do not let your ego rule your reality. I must death. 